Friends, fans, haters, hello. Tell you what, I've done a lot of things in my life, but closed Target has never been one of them until today. Um, my first time in Target in a very long time. And I went in earlier today. I'm actually traveling for work and my hotel is literally there. There's Target. My window is actually, fun fact, over there as well. Um, I actually think it's the one right there. I think that's me up at the top. So my view has quite literally been Target the last few days. Haven't been to Target in a while, but I need to get some hair stuff. Um, anytime I cut my hair, I usually like need to like actually be good about styling it a little bit more to kind of get the feel of where my curls are at because curly hair is another beast. Literally every time it's cut, the curls kind of bounce in a way all on their own. So never exactly sure what it's gonna be like, but it uh, moral of the story is I need to usually get, I actually have to like do it to kind of figure out what hairstyles work well what don't based on the length and the curl patterns and things like that so uh yeah so went there this morning for some hair product got back to the hotel realized my deodorant ran out so i need to go back for deodorant but plus i did a little browse and they had some cute stuff there too so uh, i'm walking uphill i was also stressed because i was like closing out target Hold on, I'll talk to you guys in the hotel room. I actually have a really long day tomorrow and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do a workout. So I'm gonna do one now and then, um, like, hello, in the gym, hotel gym. So I'll show you guys my, like, haul uh, later. Most people hate uh, Bulgarian split squats because of how it hurts. But for me, it's actually always like the foot that's on the bench. That's what hurts. My standing leg, pretty strong, but like my like little ankle. Yeah. Sweat, not highlight. All that up there. Oh, just can you say? Did I just order too much food at Taco Bell? Probably. I actually didn't do that big of an order compared to what I've done sometimes. I probably could have asked for one more thing and I would have been happy, but that's okay. 
I'm very hungry. I don't really know what this video is. I'm not really sure if it's a vlog. I look beautiful right now. And my hair looks kind of good, which is like it's day two hair. I put it up in a bun to sleep and then I took it down about to get in the shower. Fun fact, had no uh, hot water. So that was really, really fun. So I didn't, like, it wasn't just like cold. It was like ice cold. Like there was no heat at all in the water. So I uh, couldn't take a shower. So my curls are day two curls, which I feel like I usually don't have day two curls ever, but we're doing good. Um, I don't really know what this video vlog is. I think at one point it started to almost be more of a workish related one, but then it wasn't. Um, about to go do, well I did order already, so I ordered from Taco Bell. I'm so hungry, I have not eaten anything today. Not ideal, but happens when I'm working a lot unfortunately. This is gonna be so awkward, I've never really vlogged. I'm so excited. I love Taco Bell. So excited. I'm so hungry. Hello, friends. We are back. Oh, there's like a light shining right annoyingly in the camera. Well, I can't really do too much about it, honestly. Um, I hope you guys can hear me okay. It's 72 degrees out today, or you know, like an hour ago it was. Um, the sun just came down. So the beer garden at the pub across from my house is open. So it's also March Madness. So there's basketball going on, there's drunk people, even though it's like six something o'clock, but nothing wrong with that. Bevies are bevies any time of day. Um, but I figured I finally should show you guys my Target haul. I kept getting so distracted. Yeah, so gonna show you my outfit. You already saw one, which actually was a green dress, which I'll put it on so you can see the whole thing. This is also an outfit. I actually wore this to work today. Um, let me tuck it in so you get the full effect. How beautiful. One, this color, so nice. This top is like very lightly ribbed. I think you can kind of see close up the texture. And it's like not a low neckline. So it's kind of got that like slightly mock neckline. Um, I personally love that length on me. I feel like it just sits really nicely. I will say I don't have like a real, real bra on. I've got like a bralette type of bra. So especially if the girls are a little higher with a real bra, it'll look really nice. Now these pants. Guys, these pants are basically like adult sweatpants. Like they're sweatpants appropriate for work. Super comfy. My mom actually like, <laughs> I, I was on FaceTime with my mom while I was shopping at Target and she was obsessed when I put these on. They're so nice, they're so stretchy. I got a large and like, they're stretchy enough where I feel like I could go maybe to a medium, but like I would probably lose space. And obviously we know I've got quite a, the donk. So that would probably be the issue. My only qualm is the, it's like they don't know if they're wanting to be like full length or not. Like they're kind of awkwardly, a uh, slightly awkward length on me. But I feel like a lot of work pants are this length. Like with heels, I feel like it'll look fine because my ankle gets longer with heels. But with my flats, I didn't know if I should like bring it down here or like hike it up more, but super comfy. I mean, ready? So comfy. And again, like, they're like a little light plaid. And plaid goes with everything. I love wearing plaid for work. So you guys have seen I wear a plaid skirt all the time. So then there's this dress. This for some reason reminds me of like something from like maybe the 70s or something. I'm not sure. I just feel like it's a slightly period, like a period style cut. I don't know if it's the little bit of a collar, if it's the big buttons, or if it's literally like the cut of the dress, but I think it is so cute and flattering. I just really feel so cute. Like I wore it yesterday for St. Patty's Day. I got so many compliments, like literally all day. And especially like, at first I wasn't sure if I was gonna like the length. I do tend to like midi dresses, but I usually go for like a tight midi dress because it shows off my curves more. But this is perfect because it shows off my curves, but then like, it's not like, then there's still not that pressure of being like all day long, you know, over the, like around your, caps but uh and especially i wore it with um i wore it with my little black shoes but i feel like with the heels a little simple black heel uh be so cute now the next thing i got charlie kind of laughed at me when i showed him which wasn't very nice of him honestly sometimes i swear we should break up just kidding i love him way too much 
but he laughed because he's like, what? I got some leather pants. I've never found like a leathery style pant that actually like fits me. And these are so stretchy and fit me so nice. And they're not like skin tight, like all the way down. They're tight like in the body, but then they're like a straight cut leg. And they're so cute. I'm gonna put them on that same pinkish top that I just had on. I also got in gray. It was like $5 or something, like really, really cheap. of the motorcycle don't you know i'm trying to vlog here but that top i got also in gray because again i'm big on if you like it get a few colors in the pink because the cut was so nice i'm now debating do i go to a local target and see if i can get another one i just wanted to stop before i put on my shirt because i do feel like the cut of them is something that's really nice and also maybe it's like in nowadays where you could wear it like with like a cute little crop top and like i was actually wishing there was this oversized blazer that was like a very like not quite linen but on um, linen adjacent i think something like that with like a cute crop top or like a bralette with these pants would be so cute for like going out or like brunch but then for work on a nice little top or like a nicer top than you know a t-shirt but i can get away with it because my job but especially if you really dress it up with a pair of heels i mean come on this is like so this especially is nice but it's also neutral. But then you could do like a pop of color in the shoe. And do you see what I'm talking about? Like it's not like skin tight all the way down. It does kind of like, close that so you can see it behind me a little bit. It does kind of like, like flare out a little bit. Like it's not like to the ankle tight. And again, I feel like with heels and there's pockets and they're stretchy, they're a little bit warm, I feel like. But I love them. I got two pairs of shoes also, let me show you one of them. This style of shoe also I feel like is very in right now. And I'm not very big on sandals, but I found like these are not only cute, but like they're a nice chunky heel. So they're gonna be they're like easy to walk in and they're pretty comfortable. I find sandals also pretty difficult because I have a small foot but a wide foot. And I feel like sandals just aren't made for wide feet unless they're a wide size. I don't know why, but like usually the straps always feel like tight and my foot looks like a, looks like a snossage. And I feel like this could be a very cute, but like kind of casual, but kind of dressy outfit. Like I can wear this to work and be comfortable all day. I can wear this to brunch or like out with my friends. Hopefully these shoes, like because they're also kind of wider, I feel like walking around in them will be okay. But I'll just have to get used to it because I'm not really used to having my like heel out. I always... Almost all my shoes are either like a proper like pump or like one with an ankle strap. So this little sandaly style is new for me. But I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like it's so cute. And then last but not least was this beautiful dress. I picked it out and I literally was like, one of the, one of my common phrases is like, is this cute or really ugly? Cause sometimes I can't tell. <laughs> and it's funny cause often the people I ask have very different shading opinions. Charlie is always like, babe, that's terrible. My mom's like, oh, that's so nice. So. It's very funny. I feel like this light isn't doing the flowery pattern justice. This is a little bit better, I think, compared to farther away. And it's so cute, like it's buttoned down and the way it cinches at the waist, I thought it was gonna be too long and make me look frumpy. It's actually on, it's like a much better length, I think because like the way it comes in at your waist and the boobs hoisted up a bit. So then it ends up being like the perfect midi dress on me, which I will show you in three, two, one. How cute, I feel like a teacher, like, I just feel so cute. And like the sleeves actually have these little buttons too so you can undo them. And I definitely actually also didn't think it would fit my arms. My arms like, they're pretty big now. But um, there's definitely tons of space in there but they're not like too flowy at the same time. This does button all the way down so you could be a little cheeky if you want it to be. Obviously I'm not fit for work. And like, oh, there's pockets. I didn't realize that. Oh, it just got even better. Oh my days. Popping the little sandaly heels on, like, again, how cute. And I definitely feel like this is like a cool teacher, quirky, Miss Frizzle vibes. Yeah, and plus it's great to feel like you're bloated. Look at all that room I got to, for bloat space. Last but not least, I also got these little sandals. I feel like, again, this style of shoe right now, like, this just like strap type of shoe 
is very in right now. They're so cute. They're a nice little pop of color. Never wear shoes like this, but I feel like they're very practical. But again, they're a pop of color. I do actually for work wear a lot of neutrals. So a little pop here and there, you know, a little pop, pop, pop with an all black little dress. Comment down below what was your favorite outfit or like item from my little my little Target haul. Let a girl know. Like unrelated, and I guess this is kind of just turned into a vlog vlog, not really like a work vlog, but I um, I'm going out for St. Patty's Day, even though it was yesterday, like they're doing a parade in one of the towns near me and me and some of my friends from town are going. I'm nervous because like, I've hung out with them like at the pub across the street, but it's never actually been like a, hey, come meet us at the pub. It's always like a happened upon and like end up drinking and like follow each other on Instagram. And like, we're like, so this is like a step in the friendship, if that makes sense. Like a new step, like actually planning to do something together. Um, and they're a couple and there's gonna be other people there. And like, I know one of my best friends, she's actually coming down to the parade also and her friends will be there. So like, but in general, I'm just nervous <laughs> like as social as I am I'm so nervous and I don't really know why but like I just am so I'm really overthinking my outfit one it's St. Patty's Day so you want to like be green you want to be cute obviously also but when you're gonna be like day drinking you also want to be a comfy but also be prepared for like a little bloat um I'm also well actually it's not that bad I'm a bit bloated I was gonna say because I've ate like crud all week long but that's what happens sometimes when i'm traveling i don't have enough time to like be like cooking when i travel for work a lot of times i do try to sometimes do a mix of eating out and cooking but i'm also in a different area than i'm used to so i don't have like one of my go-to restaurant places um which is cheesecake factory absolutely obsessed but in upstate new york they don't really have them at least i didn't see any so i didn't have my standard so and i also just was literally doing like 12 hour work days. So I didn't have enough time necessarily to like actually be cooking on top of that. So I eat a lot of uh, fast fried food, but say la vie. But moral story is though, I'm trying to pick my outfit and I don't know. Obviously by the time you guys see this vlog, it will already pass, but I'm just interested in what you guys would even think. So this right now is kind of like the different options. Um, it's not picking up on camera too much, but these are two different types of green. One's like more green. This was a little more of a tealish green. Then obviously my Lucy and Yak jeans I wear all the time. This right here used to be my Nana's sweater. Absolutely obsessed with it. I wear it all the time. And so I'm debating, like, I definitely want to wear that. And I think it's going to rain, so I feel like that will be smart as well. But I don't know what, like, top combo. Because I feel like weird wearing a crop top with leggings. I don't know why. Like, a tight crop top with leggings, even though I'm going to be wearing a sweater. Probably, like, partially buttoned. But I could go for, like, a crop top or, like, the bodysuit. Not leaning towards the bodysuit just because, like, peeing. And the jeans with the sweater. But I'm interested in what you guys would think. Hi friends, I, um, I'm having a bit of anxiety. Yeah, the jeans, I don't know. I'm feeling a little bloated, so I'm giving myself a little bit of a belly break. Um, I'm having some anxiety because I was supposed to go to a parade and like go bar hopping in a town over from me with some of my friends. And they said around 12 that they were gonna text me and let me know. And like, they live up the street. They said around 12 they were gonna text me and we would like Uber from the pub across the street and it's nearly one. And I'm having like some anxiety about it. I was already having anxiety and I was like really nervous and excited about going out. But now I'm having like even more because part of me is like, I know I could just text them. I know that would solve it, but I don't know what I would say. And also part of me is like, well, if they, maybe they don't actually want me to go with them. Like that's what then of course my brain's doing. Part of me is like, maybe they don't actually want me to go. Maybe like if they wanted me to come, then they would. And I'm just really nervous that I'm gonna text them and they're gonna tell me that they're already like out. And then I have to Uber alone, I don't know where I'm going. I'm trying not to cry about it, but I'm like getting really close as I was like 
really looking forward to it, so I'm not really sure what I, what's I'm gonna do. Like, I got all dressed up, I got makeup on. I didn't go to the gym this morning because I, like, didn't want to be late. I'm like, what time is it? I think it's nearly one. Alexa, what time is it? It's 12.58. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. We are on the quest for bathrooms and beer. Ashley, say hi. Um, All the seats are closed off. We're kind of like walking to find something. I know. Oh, you love bagpipes? Oh, I fuck with bagpipes so hard. I really hope they're gonna play. I love bagpipes so much. <laughs> guys i can't lie to you i know you can barely see me but one i've been drinking all day two <laughs> i'm eating some pizza and i just let out a moan that was not appropriate like almost like a sexual moan over eating a bite of pizza ah <laughs> love y'all cheers